Hello and welcome, this is Machine Dana. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can set up custom icons for your Elgato Stream Deck buttons. It's a really simple and straightforward thing to do. It'll be a very quick video on how you can do that. If you find this video useful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. I've done loads of Elgato Stream Deck videos and tutorials, so if you enjoy this and you wanna see more, feel free to also subscribe. Also, finally, if you wanna see these in action on my stream, I stream daily at twitch.tv forward slash Machine Dana. Without further ado, we'll get into it. So first, what you want to make sure you've done is to edit profile. Make sure that you're editing the correct profile. What you don't want to do is start customizing buttons in the wrong profile. To do that, you simply click on the edit profile button, as I just showed there. Make sure you're selecting the correct profile here. And just to test which accounts are linked to that profile, you can click on the account section here. The plus button allows you to add Twitch, Streamlabs, and various other accounts to that specific profile once you've done that you're able to customize the buttons themselves so i've got a load of different things here i've done a separate video showing how you can do a wallpaper version like this which is essentially just multiple pictures mainly for aesthetics reasons uh, with a folder here which i can click into which then has all my other buttons here's another example of that working uh, with a spotify uh, image with then some functional buttons here and to launch spotify itself with that icon for this video, I'm mainly concerned with simply customizing the icons themselves. So virtually any icon within the Elgato Stream Deck can be customized with an icon. I think it might be literally every single icon actually. I need to check that. Certainly uh, things like hotkeys, folders, or functional buttons that do a certain task. So most of these buttons here are actually folders. Uh, so if I click into a folder, and then this is my Streamlabs one, for example, the in-game cam. This allows me to switch the scenes and then certain sources within the scenes turn them on and off. So for example, this one here will allow me to switch between the game capture and the monitor capture. This will launch Streamlabs and that's why I've got the indicative text there. Some of these are quite boring because they're very, very sort of functional, uh, but then you can get a little bit more playful with it. The integration that I've got with Twitch allows me to um, do loads of different things with Twitch without me having to manually do them on Twitch. I simply press the button. Uh, for example, I can spam some of my emotes in chat or I can set the stream title or emote chat only. Or I can toggle follower chat only, things like that. Now to customize an icon, you simply click on the button. Let's just say if this is a folder, for example, all you need to do is click on the down icon here and you can either set it from file and by default, the icon size is 144 by 144 pixels. You can literally set the icon from pictures that you've got. For example, I can select the Pogchamps. As you can see here, if I hover over, it's 144 by 144. Thing to bear in mind here is if the image is actually slightly too big, the Elgato string deck will kind of downscale the image to be the correct size. So don't worry too much about that. You may get an error which shows that the image is actually too large, in which case you may need to manually downscale it to a certain size uh, or even just downscale it to the correct size, which is 144 by 144. And then you simply click on it and open and it will set that image to the stream deck. That literally immediately appears on the Stream Deck, uh, and there you go. So that, that is literally full customization. You can select different types of files, for example, uh, GIF files or GIF files. I don't know who, who calls what where, but GIF or GIF files and that kind of thing. So you can have icons that are not just static. They actually have some animation on them as well. The other thing to bear in mind as well is when you down click here, and if you go, you, you can reset to default by clicking that button there. You can also uh, create a new icon as well. So this opens up, when you click on it, it opens up Elgato's Gaming Key Creator. Now the Gaming Key Creator is available for anyone, even if you don't have an Elgato Stream Deck. So if you're thinking about purchasing one, you could easily prepare all of your buttons before you've even uh, got the Stream Deck in your own hand or set up. Elgato.com forward slash EN forward slash gaming slash key creator if you're an English speaker and what we have here is a it's kind of a builder it's a web-based builder uh, we can do it on key mode or we can do it on wallpaper mode which is allows you to do for example multiple buttons by selecting uh, pictures open as an example of the wallpaper mode in action then I can save the keys by clicking this button here and it will save all of these keys in a folder I've done a more detailed version on how to do this so I'll link that within the video below or you can just design a single image um, I'm just going to delete this here and select the one from one of the default buttons here you can upload a custom image into this composer if you want to, for example, if you have a standard background that you particularly want to use, or you can just select from the very uh, sort of wide selection that they've got here. 
Thing to bear in mind here is you can also have multiple layers, a little bit like Photoshop. So for example, if I wanted to bring in a red button here and then an icon that goes over it, which is, a, let's say, the off button, click that as well. You just need to bear in mind that the higher up the layer, the more of a precedence that layer has over uh, the visibility. So I've got this on icon above the red and it shows. If I move the on icon below it, it won't show because the red is a solid color. And then all I simply need to do is click save key here. It will save it to file. I can then use that by dragging it on to the stream deck. So by way of example there, uh, set from file, I go to my downloads. This is the stream deck key that I've just created. Click open on that and it selects it. You can also drag and drop it onto this area here. If I just reset this to default, show that by example, I can simply drag and drop that onto the icon there. So there you have it, a really, really simple way to be able to customize every single key or wallpaper mode. Uh, by all means, check out the more detailed video on the wallpaper buttons that, that span multiple buttons. Uh, I've done loads of videos on Elgato Stream Deck and also Streamlabs uh, and streaming in general. Please feel free to check those out. Check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana. Uh, otherwise, have a wonderful day. Take it easy.